It's probably one of the most eagerly anticipated launches of the year. It's a new tailor-made driver time. It's tailor-made SIM 2. I'm going to be giving them a thorough test on the launch monitor out on the golf course, help you guys understand what are the differences between the two and how do they compare to the outgoing SIM drivers. So let's get started. Right, so new tailor-made SIM2 drivers. It has the same name uh, as the prior generation. That's because it maintains that asymmetrical shape which tailor-made say helps maximize club head speed right into impact. Uh, it's got that weight at the back there which really maximizes forgiveness. But the big kind of radical design shift I would say from tailor-made with this driver is that they've done away with the sliding weight track. Golf, they felt like golfers weren't really utilizing that. And as a result, the whole of the sole is made up from one piece of carbon fiber. It's a nine ply carbon fiber here. You can see I've got the deconstructed driver head to show you exactly how that kind of slots on. So there's no sliding weight, uh, that just slots on there. Then you've got the carbon fiber panel on the top. So actually uh, you'll notice when I take both the carbon fiber panels off, the head is essentially made of two parts. You've got this aluminium forged ring construction here at the back with that striking blue color. And then that connects into the titanium head, which is the only part of the head that's actually made of titanium. Interestingly, you'll notice that the speed injected twist face does carry over from last year, but there's no speed injection ports on the face now. Instead, you've just got one injection port here on the toe. That's because TaylorMade have done a bit more milling on the back of the face. They only need to access the face via that one port. So hiding on the toe, I think, is a nice move from them. You can see the CNC milling here on the back of the face. And TaylorMade say that this new internal CNC milling has actually improved the efficiency of this club face design and the overall head. And essentially, by using more carbon fiber, they're increasing the forgiveness. 20% more of the shots that you'll hit in that really high COR bracket. So basically you're gonna get more speed from a wider area, essentially. I spoke earlier of the two drivers in the new SIM2 driver range. There's actually three models within it. There is also a SIM2 Max D, which is the draw bias version uh, for serial slices of the golf ball. But these are the two I'm really gonna focus on in this video in terms of my comparison testing. So the SIM2 and the SIM2 Max. The SIM2 has a 16 gram fixed back weight here and a 12% larger face so that should give you much more forgiveness compared to the sim driver and then you've got the sim 2 max which has much more weight here in the back 24 grams compared to the sim 2 so that's going to give you a little bit more stability on those offset hits so if you utilize more of the face this is going to give you a bit more assistance so um, two really interesting prospects from Taylor made i would say you know, big design shift in terms of the way this driver is constructed. I've not seen before a driver with a full carbon fiber sole panel. This is completely new to me. So I'm really interested to see how these drivers perform, how they feel and sound more importantly, and how they compare to the outgoing sim drivers. So let's give them a test here on the golf course, also on the Foresight Sports GC quad. Launch monitor to see where the differences lie. Looks wise, I think these drivers look really, really cool and cutting edge. And you'll notice at address, you've got a slightly darker carbon fiber section here that contrasts really nicely with this uh, kind of white section on the front. I think this is definitely an improvement from TaylorMade. That contrast just makes them a little bit more easier to see the face alignment, which is really important, I think, when you're adjusting loft and the face angle changes to be able to make that adjustment in your hands to feel exactly uh, where that club face and see where it's pointing. That's really going to help. Um, I tested these, both of these drivers on the GC quad launch ones indoors using Titleist Pro V1 X golf balls and tested them up against SIM in my, with my custom fitted shaft. So I've got it here. This is the, the shaft I was custom fitted for by TaylorMade for my SIM driver in nine degrees. And I've got a nine degree head here with the SIM2 drivers. I didn't have a nine degree head on me when I tested the SIM driver. So there's slight discrepancies in loft, um, which I will flash up on the screen now. Um, I'll flash up all the data as you can see here in front of me. And also the kind of approximate loft of all the different heads I tested. In summary, I think you'll see from the numbers, there wasn't a great deal of difference um, between the SIM driver and the SIM 2 driver. For me, the SIM was a really good driver and you saw from our review last year that we gained quite significant yardage with SIM over the M5 and the M6. But um, nonetheless, 
There were marginal improvements, I would say, in performance, and I think having a slightly lower static loft with the SIM 2 definitely helped because for me, I found the SIM 2 to be a lot higher launching than the SIM. So don't just assume that you can play the same loft in SIM into SIM 2 and you get the same performance because I do feel like I got a slightly higher launch and a higher flight in a like for like loft with SIM 2. So lofting down definitely helped me get more performance out of SIM 2. And you look at the numbers, I'd say there are gains to be had, you know, from generation to generation, I do feel like SIM 2 is delivering me slightly more distance. It came from slightly more ball speed. Clubhead speed was pretty similar, ever so slightly faster um, through the air, ever so slightly faster off the face. Similar launch, ever so slightly lower spin, resulting in very slightly longer carries on average, but topping out similar levels SIM, two versus sim you know there wasn't really much in it and then you compare sim 2 to sim match and there were bigger differences there in performance there's no question sim 2 max is flying an awful lot higher and i noticed that testing here on the golf course as well yeah, it's a good four to five yards higher flight and a lot more spin as well so that will be beneficial for some golfers who need more spin on their drives they need a higher flight to keep the ball in the air that's definitely going to help them out but i think you know if you're a mid to fast swinger you're definitely going to get more out of the sim 2 driver and the other thing to talk about in terms of the differences in the in the drivers testing here on the on the 18th hole at burley park golf club you know sim 2 definitely with that extra carbon fiber does have a duller sound and feel to it and I, i'm surprised to say that actually because sim i felt like it had quite a nice dud to it obviously with that carbon fiber added to this driver has been accentuated with the 2021 models now the one concern or question you might have um, with the SIM2 and the SIM2 Max drivers is regarding the durability of that full carbon fibre sole panel. It's understandable, you know, is it going to withstand those dinks on hitting the ground if you hit it by mistake or maybe if you're hitting something in anger? Well, obviously you shouldn't do that. You know, are you going to be left with a driver with a crack in it or having to replace it? I've got to say, having obviously given them a thorough test, I feel like the the finish on the, the carbon fiber panel itself is really smooth. So actually it kind of goes along the ground rather than digging into it at all. Um, I feel like having tested the, the breakdown of the head, you can see here, I've got it here. It's a surprisingly sturdy and durable material, I'd say. There's not much give there. Obviously it moves a little bit, but it's pretty solid. I, I would say unless you absolutely bosh it really hard on something that's quite hard and quite sharp, I'd say I don't think you're going to have to worry about this breaking down. I think it's a pretty rigid material, uh, pretty durable material. I think TaylorMade would obviously have done enough testing, I would hope, to make sure that yeah, this driver is going to stay in one piece. As you can see, it's pretty strong, I've got to say. Obviously, when it's supported by the rest of the driver head, uh, that, that aluminium ring and then the titanium face section, I think you, know, you haven't got to have, to have too many concerns about the durability of this carbon fiber sole. Yeah, generally speaking, you know, I don't think if you've got a SIM driver, you want to be or need to be rushing to upgrade to SIM 2 uh, because the performance was quite similar. But you know, I think the other thing I would note from the numbers that I've, that I've flashed up on the screen earlier, you know, this is one of the best performing drivers on the market. I've tested everything that's launching in 2021 and those numbers are some of the best I've seen actually. I think you'll agree, they look great, they feel great and uh, the performance is right there with anything else I've tested. And uh, yeah, with the SIM2 and the Max and the Max-D, there's a driver out here for everyone that really can be dialed in. You get custom fitted, get the right loft. Obviously, it's a shame they've done away with the sliding weight track. You know, I definitely am a golfer that has utilized in the past sliding weights to add more fade bias, in my case, to give me a straighter ball flight. And obviously, I don't have the option to do that with SIM drivers, but I think that's only going to apply to a relatively small number of people. I think most people are just looking to hit more fairways and the added forgiveness that TaylorMade have built into these drivers will definitely help them do that. So it comes in at £449 as well. So because TaylorMade have done away with the adjustability on the solar driver, they've been able to um, keep the weight down and keep the cost down as well. So 449 for both of these drivers, I think, is a really, really appealing package when you consider all the things I've talked about in terms of the feel and performance of these drivers. So definitely, if you're looking to upgrade your driver, you want the best of the best, um, you want premium, definitely give the SIM2 a go. I very much doubt if you go through a custom fitting, it will be beaten by anything. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, do click the like button if you like what you're watching and comment down below. Um, was it helpful in terms of ascertaining which one might be right for you and how it compares with the outgoing and improves on this SIM driver? So. 
That's all from me, from Birdie Park Golf Club. I'll see you next time.